Yeah, so I'm gonna continue on with this and I'm gonna wrap it up really quick. I wanna just uh, make this one short. All right, so we'll get into the expressive of this and set up some mod matrix and stuff. But I really wanna go back to the uh, Richter episode, you know what I mean? Because like, I say my man really did put this thing in perspective. When he said, hey, you know about the Nord G2. When I thought about it, it's like, yeah, man, these two synthesizers are very, 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 very much alike. But in the case of this can do definitely some physical modeling. I mean, the instruction manual says that it can't, but... I don't know, these are some really expressive pianos. EPs. Self-made, you know what I mean? And then, it, But it's like, not even nothing major. You just, you drag the tines into here. It's like the G2. But you have all these different shapes. I don't. I don't have just the square times. I have su stuff that's circular. Circular. I mean, you probably have to go on the website and see all that stuff. But I have to get some other stuff um up there on the website anyway. I have to put meta materials on there. I think I'm gonna bring that out next. So what you do? Okay. All right. I've changed the filter to bandpass. Now, how you get the different flavors just within the one? Well, number one is you you start changing oscillators uh, footages. But that's going to change where you're at. You know if you're an 8-foot, you're playing, you have the whole time bar. What you have to do is you have to realize, you have to really take yourself down a rabbit hole here with this box. And what I mean by that is, understand that you have your key bed here before you. The key bed is not what is changing. It is what is behind the key bed is that what changes. Let me show you an example. All right. Now these times that I showed you here. Okay. Now I drew them. You see, the key bed to the piano would still yet be the same. Now, as we know, a Rhodes piano looks like this it's very small caddy corner in the corner type style well if you had gigantic tines and you put them in something in in the form of a grand piano whether it be upright or in this type of form here and if you look at the grand piano that's where you get this what you want uh, what people want to say oh i'm so gone off this earth and you know, whatever man Dude, it's called an imagination man you know, I'm so sorry that you're so stuck inside your device and you're so selfified and so glued to the chip, you know, that and so full of self-worship that you can't, you actually can't go within the self and come up with some some extra curricular activities, man, instead of being assholes and talking shit on me. So, like, this is, this is how the shit works. But if you listen... What do you hear? See how soft and gentle I get? And that's how it should be. Now I have to probably tweak a little bit more and do some other stuff. But this is what I'm trying to, I'm trying to display this to you so you see and here now you have to change things around though but but as you change things around you have to understand that you have to also move other things like maybe filter might be need to be this one But you understand, the key bed is not what is changing. It is what is behind the key bed is that what is changing. Okay? And then not only that, how more how much more flexible is this just alone? Well not only just like unlike just this, but all the all the engines developed. You don't just have to use these tines to make electric pianos. You can make other instruments that don't even exist. Let's do that now. 
let's try some stuff out. So let's change the envelope back to a non-piano envelope. Let's take the envelope amount down and bop, bop, bop. Let's kill all that. Because, see, we were, we were building dynamics. Now, I've already explained how it works. If we don't want this to be a tie-in at all, now that impact has been taken away, especially if you... Now, just like because it's times, what is that? That's some serious stuff right there. I like the way that sounds. My personally, I would use this in a song. use that teach their own you know I'm not here I'm not here for that but I'm just here to display this that's very very robust man you don't really need to add too much resonance on that it just does too much does too much. Now, if I turn this back to the piano, watch. Don't be surprised. I'm gonna end this tape done, cause I really wanna uh, jump into some other stuff. Let's uh, let's jump into like meta materials or something. We'll talk about how that works. bit of envelope. You know that sounds like a piano. Hold on, let me fix it a little bit. Let me put a little something something on it. It's a very strange EP stringy type of weird type of texture. I know you guys hear that. They're very nice. You see what I mean? And that's what tines. So it's like almost like a grand tine piano. Not almost like it is. have to understand how to operate the technology now what how do you do that is you, you go through you go through the frequency you have to play with this like a radio I told you AM FM is a boom box you get this you get this thing booming man you know a boom man <laughs> and yeah I mean I love this thing man wait wait till I get two wait till I get another one man watch what we be doing I get to the rest of the click gonna get to. We're gonna be in here rich as we're gonna be rich as hell. Watch. Yep. And you know FM was definitely on filter two source. So Oscillator one or oscillator two, crank it up. Put it on something. Put it on some crank. Play a little lullaby for you trolls. Tired. My click, we riding, dude. Blowfield.
Waldorf, they did it. Badass box. Baby Quantum. You know I want two of them.